what's going on YouTube so I want to do a quick video I ain't gonna be too long um, so I was reading the papers the other day and don't you know these fools is trying to pass a bill house bill 189 where they pushing drivers to haul 88,000 pounds insane those of you that drive trucks you guys know that you know somebody stopped in front of you real fast it's hard to stop an empty truck you know an empty trailer imagine 88,000 pounds you know I really feel bad for company drivers because if your boss tell you to pick up a load and you don't feel comfortable about the weight and you refuse the load what they gonna terminate you for insubordination this is insane this is crazy so I'm gonna read the article to you guys and you comment below you tell me what you think late last Monday night in the Georgia State Capitol an army of lobbyists huddled around a television outside the House chamber to watch a vote on House Bill 189, a measure that has quietly become one of the most contentious of this year's legislative session. The vote was on whether tractor trailers on state and local roads around Georgia can increase the maximum allowed weight they carry from 80,000 pounds to 88,000 pounds. The vote will not affect federal roads like I-75 and I-85 since the federal law will still ban trucks heavier than 80,000 pounds. The fight over how big is too big has pitted mayors against lawmakers, business interests against businesses, and member against member, regardless of party. Pushing to increase the weights are companies that move just about anything you can think of across and around the state. Home builders, timber, growers, poultry, producers, concrete makers, and cattlemen. Heavier trucks mean fewer trips. So as a business owner, I understand you got to offset a lot of things, especially because the fuel is too expensive. So, you know, they basically, they're going to put more freight on the trailer, less trips. Heavier trucks mean fewer trips, fewer drivers. They're going to be getting rid of drivers and less spent to move each load, their lobbyists say. On the other side have been local leaders worried about the damage to roads and bridges they'll have to pay for when they wear out 33% sooner with heavier trucks. Rail companies say the extra freight can go by train instead. Makes sense to me. And safety advocates have stated the obvious during hearings on the bill. That anything heavier, including a loaded big rig, takes longer to slow down. A child knows that but what if the driver never hits the brakes that was the horrible reality in 2015 for seven Georgia Southern nursing students driving on I-16 on their way to their final day of clinical rotations at Savannah's St. Joseph Hospital completely stopped in traffic on a state road their two cars were smashed by a tractor trailer driving 70 miles per hour the driver, later, the driver later testified in court that he didn't know why he didn't try to slow down. In the end, five students died, including Emily Clark. A sixth student was left with, with a traumatic brain injury. <laughs> Emily's mother, Kathy, is not one of the lobbyists at the Capitol Hill pushing for or against the bill, but she wants lawmakers to think about families like hers as they decide whether to increase truck weights on Georgia roads. The truck that crushed her daughter's car was packed with de deliveries and on its way to a local dollar store. Safety is our number one concern and you can listen to facts and figures all day long but common sense tell you that something heavier is harder to control on the roads and it just can't be safe. She said it just can't be that a little bit of extra money is worth the, uh, the safety of anyone's family you know um, these people don't care about us man you know um, they don't care these companies they don't care about the people without the people you have no company without the people you have no government I don't understand you know the thinking um, of these people man and you know I'm not gonna read the whole article because as you can see it's a lot you know but this is sad, man. This is this is crazy. Um, as I was reading, it says something about Brian Kemp. I'll read that little small part. So it says, Governor Brian Kemp signed an executive order increasing truck weights 
to 95,000 pounds for the then empty roads. With life in Georgia well back to normal, that order expired Friday at midnight. 95,000 pounds, an executive order. So, you know, I know it's gonna be some owner operators that's gonna attempt to do this because obviously they're gonna be paying you guys more money, right? You're gonna be hauling, you know, heavier freight, but you gotta think of the, the aftermath, right? When you put more weight on your truck, on your trailer, it damaged the trailer. It damaged the truck. You know, um, the truck drives funny. You know, it rides funny. It just don't, it's, it's just too heavy. You know, um, I don't really uh, put heavy loads on my trailer. My drivers don't like to haul heavy loads. Um, I like to be at, you know, 35,000. You know, I, I definitely put, you know, 40,000, but, you know, that's not all the time. Um, you know, so 40,000 is not that bad, you know. Um, you know, this day cab, you know, and, and my sleepers weigh about, what, 19,000, 20,000 pounds. So talking about 60,000. And these fools talking about 88,000. That's just way too much. Um, I'm not for this. I'm not going to do it. Um, and, you know, collectively, us as, you know, drivers, you know, own operators, carriers, we got to come together and, and stop this. You know, just don't do it. You know, what if every driver just shut down, you know, for three days? This country will collapse you know um this is insane and it's insane that we don't stick together as drivers you know remember when the rail companies was going on strike right when they was going on strike and they basically you know um haul 40 percent of the freight you know um in georgia right so what if the rail if if, they, if the rail uh, companies, if the employees that work for you know those companies, if they can come together collectively, right? Um, why can't owner operators and carriers come together? And you know, really, these rail companies they probably you know nationwide they probably cover forty percent. So if they cover nationwide, if they cover forty percent of the freight, you know, that's coming in and out then carriers obviously, you know, cover, you know, 60%, if not 60%, you know, 40%, and maybe the other 20% go on the boats and the ships. But if, you know, if they can come together collectively and shut stuff down, then we gotta be able to come together collectively. You know, um, if we stop taking these cheap loads, you know, the rates will just go so high, you know, it'll basically pull drivers back in the industry because so many drivers left because of the rates. But that's another story, you know, that's another animal. But we're talking about, you know, these fools trying to pass something, you know, where, you know, they're making us haul 88,000 pounds. That's insane. I'm not doing it. I wouldn't advise, I wouldn't advise anybody to do it. And, um, you know, drivers you know um stay safe out there you know um and just be mindful about the companies you sign up with you know because a lot of these companies don't give a damn about you you know like i always say subscribe to my youtube channel up and at them to the next video you know we'll be doing another video we'll you know try to be as truthful as possible you know like i always say you know that's the truth because we're the truth